It's a flashback to the 80s and 90s. Flip through Friday. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my Take at the Lake. I have some crafty, Christmassy things that I want to share with you. I'm going to do a flip through of my Christmas scrapbook, journal, photo album thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's just filled with Christmas stuff. And I have a few Christmas craft ideas that are super fast, super easy. Some are making a return right now. Uh, some are not, but they might because they're pretty cute too. So stick around. I got lots to show you. And I hope you like my under. This is my tree skirt. I just love this sparkly vintage Christmas colors with gold threads through it. I just love this. I pulled it right out from underneath my tree just for the occasion. So I'll, I'll come back to these in just a minute. This was the thing uh, sometime in the 80s to take a photo album, cover it with material. It's even got cotton batting. I think Janet Nash called it wadding in the center so it's plush and quilty. It's got a pocket here, and I just love these primitive-looking snowmen. I used to collect snowmen. I've got, I had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, but I gave a good amount of them away and don't collect things anymore because to me now it's just stupid. <laughs> I collect journal supplies now, which is equally stupid, but to clean it and store it and move it and haul it and worry about it and... Oh, I just don't even see the point anymore of collecting things, but that's why it's a snowman theme. And tucked in these pockets, we'll start right here at the beginning. These are funny little 3D glasses that you put on. I've had these since the 80s. I don't think there's a date on here, but I remember getting them at the mall at some kind of crazy cool store, like merry-go-round or something funny. And you put them on, even though this looks like a nose, this goes over the bridge of your nose, and you just put them on like sunglasses, and I'll show you what they look like. I have one that's snowflakes, and the other one is Noel. And you can see around the, the lights, they make these little holograms around every little Christmas light of either a snowflake or Noel top and bottom of the light. So much fun. I'm so amazed. I love these so much. That's why I've kept track of them since the 80s because I just think they're so fun. One of my favorite things. More pockets here in the center, here in the cover. And this is just fun stuff that I, that I just really like, you know, ephemera. But a borders gift card. I still have 68 cents. Hello. That's not like me to leave money on a gift card. I save a lot of these Christmas tags and I have them all over my house and they just turn up in my sock drawer, in my closet, in my office drawers, in my baskets and every now and again I'll come across some vintage tag. We used to have Christmas bake, Christmas cookie bakes and about 15 of us would get together and since there was 15 of us we had to make 15 dozen of our favorite cookies. So at the end of the day, we each went home with at least 15 dozen different cookies to share over the holidays. We'd take them to holiday events and take them to work, and I, I would send them out on the boats with for my husband. I'd send him his own box, and then I would send a big box to the to the cook and the galley so that he would give them to the rest of the guys. Just a truckload of, of uh, cookies. Because it was just Ray and I, we didn't have any kids and most of my family was downstate, what I ended up doing with all those extra cookies is on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, I would take a beautiful Christmas tray and I would put a wide variety of cookies on the tray and I'd cover it real pretty and put bows and streamers on and I would take it up to the waiting room at the intensive care unit and the emergency room at the hospital because who wants to be there on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and it was just a nice way to make use of all of those fabulous cookies that we made. A very young me 
my grandma, my mom, my cousins, my aunt, and my high school sweetheart slash hubby, ex-husby, 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 hubby, the girls when they were little. Another old Christmas tag. Aw, this was to one of my dogs named Seamus. I didn't have Seamus very long, so you never hear about him. Me and my mom, long time ago. This was another cookie bake. There was only eight of us that, that year, and it just grew and grew and grew. Everyone loved the idea. We ended up having more and more, more and more people. Looks vintage, but it's not. My mom didn't date this. She usually always puts the year down here in the corner, and she didn't, so I have no idea how old that is, but it's it's not as vintage as it looks. That's my kooka. My big kookaburra. He was a lab slash St. Bernard mix. Me and my mom. Me and Kuka. He was such a good boy. His was the first collar I found. This beautiful Jingle Bell collar at, at a craft fair. And then I never saw him again. Amazon doesn't have him. I never saw him at a craft fair again. And so I started making my own. One year for Christmas for all the dogs in our family, I made 15, I made all my dogs, they already had theirs, but I made 15 dog collars for all the other dogs in our family. Look at the tiny little dancing mice. Just cute and cozy. See, mom and dad 98. I don't know why she didn't do that. This is nice and vintage. It's a vintage card, but I don't think it, I think mom sent it. It's not, it's not that long ago. Oh, what happened here? Isn't that just a beautiful tag? I have to glue that little bugger back on. I just think that's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Carrie from Mel and Kirsten. I'm gonna have to glue that. Hi, baby girl, you gotta go out. So pretty, sparkly. Looky here. This is at my grandma's house. There's no date on it. But judging by the doll, I was maybe three. And I remember that pencil. It was a really long pencil, Christmassy pen pencil thing. I remember that to this day. Look at all the tinsel, that old TV, old chairs. <laughs> my, my grandma's brother painted that oil painting. I don't know whatever happened to that. Nice big real tree. <laughs> I used to host Christmas teas every year. And hot cocoa. We had tea and hot cocoa. At my old, old house. This is years and years and years ago, so don't get all excited about the address because it's not accurate a couple hours just the girls no husbands no kids no deadlines you get the picture just a bunch of christmas cheer good holiday music lights and some downtime just for us r and r b y o b if you wanted to spice up your cocoa and tea be my guest this is my dad's christmas and uh, my dad's santa outfit this is our bailey she's getting married in june and has a daughter, this little one. He, when her older sister, Sray, was five, saw Santa, she literally fainted dead away, face first into the carpet. Her eyes got about yay big, and she just went face first down and out. <laughs> that was so funny. But later she said, she saw his watch and she says, my Uncle Roy has a watch just like that. <laughs> so I think she was on to him after the fact, but initially we had her going. There's another little tag. This was the drink menu from, we had just a tiny little Christmas party with munchies and drinks. Just friends, that's from 2008. Kind of old fashioned looking tag. I thought Amy at Doki Doki Forest would like this, these little dragon baby dragon choir it reminds me of that book dragolin look even a tiny little directory so cute and then just some of my very favorite things from over the years 
some funny stuff. <laughs> the, do the cat offering the dog some mistletoe. This is an old Garfield cartoon. Look, John, I built a snow cat. What's that? Well, what do you know? I believe he hacked up a snowball. <laughs> My mom wrote a Christmas, Christmas letter updating the family. Just some favorite Christmas cards. And this is just one of those old-fashioned peel and stick photo albums. This is from an artist friend of mine. No, nope, that's from my my in-laws. Husband's parents, they are all dead. Parents are gone. Husband is gone. So bizarre to think that they have left this world. But they have. How to tell you've been really bad. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. Opus. Bah, hairball. <laughs> I just love the expression on his face. Some beautiful old stamps. Eight cents. Twenty cents. It seems like the stamps were twenty cents forever. There's a Christmas one for ten. Thirty-two, twenty-two. So pretty. 1997. A lot more old, old stamps. Santa's second string smasher on trancer on financer on kickson on vomit on stupid on wander on spitzen. <laughs> There's a nice old tree, even an older tree. 1961. My mom and her mom and dad grandparents. This is 1966. Remember people used to send real Christmas cards and you'd put them on display. There's us in Germany. Christmas in Germany. And that's the dress that I didn't want to wear. My mom made me this little satin dress with little heart buttons and that little white faux fur collar and I told her I didn't want to wear it because it was picky. She made it herself and she used the new polyester thread and it was picky and it drove me bananas and I didn't want to wear it and I didn't want to wear it and she made me put it on. I worked so hard on it. I remember her saying, you, I worked so hard on that dress. You're going to wear it. And I said, I don't want to wear it. And we argued and she carried me out to the Christmas tree and we had our pictures. We have lots of pictures, grandma and grandpa with Carrie and mom and dad with Carrie. And this is my aunt and mom with Carrie and mom just kept kept me right there and as soon as all the pictures were done I went into the kitchen and I said to my grandma you know I'm really thirsty and she said you want something to drink yes please I'm thirsty thirsty and so grandma gave me a little glass of red kool-aid <laughs> I went out into the living room and just poured it right down the front of me I didn't even try to pretend like I was drinking it I just poured it down the front of me because the dress was picky and I didn't want to wear it but my mom's smart and she knew me by then you know and she carried me through all the pictures and we got all kinds of pictures with me in that that little blue satin dress that she made and then it was all over then I got to put on my comfy clothes so if there was still any question the attitude came standard with the package little stocking my grandma made it's got that old-fashioned glitter on it little creative memories stickers my first haircut yep locked myself in the bathroom what are you doing nothing what are you doing nothing came out my bangs were cut up to my hairline you know like every other kid has ever done mom said what'd you do that for and I said, my bangs were in my face and they were bothering me so i cut them off and ever since then i've not not had my bangs in my face this was the only time i didn't have bangs all the other times from from that moment on my bangs have been down to my chin lots of old fat christmas trees look at that christmas card that's beautiful i'm sure that's from my mom with the ribbon candy fat tree skinny tree skinny tree my baby cat christmas my beautiful gram I just love the glow of Christmas lights. It's, it's fascinates me. I can stare at them all day. 
There's Saray the day she fainted. I saw Mommy kissing Santa Claus. Santa and Bailey. Some gingerbread houses we made. We always had fun. This is the shop that I worked at. We'd always have our own Christmas party and it had a theme. This year was Ho 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 Down Holiday. We all dressed up with our denim and our plaid and sort of weird Christmas cowboy hats. <laughs> they were, oh, we just had so much fun. We did shots of tequila. She was almost 80, a hairdresser that worked with us. I think she was 78. and <laughs> She was out drinking tequila with us. I don't even know where we were, but we had fun. There was quite a few of us. So fun. And, and I always love this story. This is our back bar in a salon. The back bar is the bar that's behind the shampoo bowls where the special shampoos and conditioners are. And so representatives have come in and say, hey, do you need anything for your back bar? And they meant the bar behind the shampoo bowl. But in our salon, we had an actual back bar. <laughs> we had Osti Spumante and Kahlua and hot damn schnapps, excuse me, amaretto, cream de cocoa. We were making grasshoppers in the blender. <laughs> oh, look how beautiful. That is Susan Branch. Every bit as beautiful as Edith Holden. Entirely different century, of course, but she has her own font. And her, her watercolors are just amazing. Susan Branch. Look her up if you've not seen her. Just fantastic stuff. Anyway, like I said, it's part photo album, part scrapbook, part smash book. We always did a menu. Country baked chicken, twice baked potatoes, sweet potatoes, pistachio salad, rolls and relishes, and Christmas cake. Listed all the helpers. Grandma's beautiful table. I guess this is my mom's beautiful table. There's Kuka. More Susan Branch. Just beautiful. Another one of our famous cookie bakes. There's Kuka. Kookaburra. Why was he named Kookaburra? Because that's what my mom used to sing to me when I was a kid. Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree. More of our, one of our cookie bakes. Oh, God, we had, and that year we made, we had the kids make gingerbread houses. Keep them occupied. Well, and look at all the cookies. Tables and tables and tables of cookies. <laughs> Fun, lots of laughs. There's an old one from my gram. Nice and old. My kitties, another old tag from Grandma. I have always loved that buffalo plaid, and I had buffalo plaid pants that year. I just loved them. They were wool and lined. Oh, they were the most beautiful pants. I loved, loved, loved them. Look at me, 80s girl. There we go again. The 80s hair and the French beret and... That's a fun picture. Me and Chris Mouse. Eating your dinner, Bitsy girl. Look, the girls were so little. She's pregnant. She has a daughter. Her daughter has two kids. Her daughter is this age. I'm not sure where she is, but they were born six months apart. And they're all grown up. She got married. One is married, the rest all have kids. <laughs> Gotta love it. Ay, ay, ay. One year I made them all crocheted blankets. Super, super soft, plushy, yummy blankets. Look at that old card. More vintage stamps. Grinch is my favorite, of course, you know. I love that card with the cellophane rainbow tree. So pretty. I have these ornaments, this with the Mitford book. It's part of a, a book series. 
and they came out with looks like um, wrapping paper one one year this one's pregnant and this one has two kids <laughs> my how time flies my crazy uncle always wears Hawaiian shirts and ugly ties on Christmas <laughs> just to piss his wife off yep mm -hmm. for no other reason Anyway, a few more pages to fill up and fill in and glue in and of course that means actually printing out some some pictures right mm -hmm. so that was a fun little trip down memory lane but here's some Christmas crafts this is made from grocery bags craft paper but grocery bags a little bit heavier than than the packing materials we get in the Amazon packages but this is so simple they took a simple cookie cutter shape of a gingerbread and you can of course make any shape you can make snowmen or hearts or paw prints or stockings or christmas trees whatever you want to make cut out several of them and she she sewed around them super fine stitches i mean holy man you can hardly see them sewed around they're stuffed with something maybe just another layer of paper or maybe some super Thin wadding of some sort. I don't know what's inside, but there's something in there. I don't think you have to do that. Anyway, she did a whole bunch of them. Uh, three. And then hearts in the middle. Again, they're just cut out and stitched. And then puffy paint. And you don't have to have puffy paint. It can be Posca pen. Whatever. Drew their little faces on. Glued these little bows on. Drew these little hearts on. Drew on the gingerbread and the dots, and then glued it to the pearl pearl beading. And they have these little loops at the end, so it's sort of a form of bunting, really. I I would always hook it on. To me, the gingerbread is kitchen, you know, holiday baking type Susan Branch thing. So I take each of these little loops and put it around my kitchen curtain rod. And so this would just drape over the kitchen curtain in the center. And I thought it was so cute and so easy. And grocery bags, paper grocery bags. We all collect those because they make wonderful journals. But here's just an easy, quick, the kids could probably help trace and cut them out or the grandkids or whatever. And again, could be trees, Christmas stockings, could be paw prints, stars, and any color scheme. You know, this year there's, have you noticed all the dark Christmas journals? Black and gray and steampunk. They don't have to be scary though. They can be dark and elegant. So pretty. A recent video I did, I, I listed a kit uh, from a, a Nancy seller. And I went back and I looked at her shop and she has just some gorgeous dark Christmas kits so it could be blacks and you know a black Christmas tree and, and gold beading or silver beading I mean the possibilities are just endless and I love it I think that I got this in 98 and I I just think it's fun so I always dig it out and this I think was a a pullover that I had and it got ruined somehow it got a big tear in it but I couldn't I couldn't part with the the reindeer tigger so I just cut out the piece that I liked and made it a Christmas ornament, poked some holes through it, tied some raffia on it. You know, so if you have old, you know, I have a few Grinch sweatshirts I could probably do this to. The Grinch is fine, but the shirt is tired. I could cut it out and make, make an ornament. Your kids clothes or your grandkids clothes that are, that are favorites with critters on them maybe. Cut them out and make little Christmas ornaments for keepsake sake and these were super easy you know this is so 80s country 80s everything was at the end of the 80s everything was going country everything and this was a material that looked like it, it was a quilt it, it would had printed stitches on it so I just cut out each of the squares with pinking shears and put them on plain plain backing and these feel like there's something in the middle too like maybe a soft piece of felt but super easy 
glued this is hot glued jute on after I just quick stitched around super quick stitch I mean these are so easy of course I'd buy you know current fabric and make them less 80s looking but aren't they cute simple easy if you're looking for something to put on your tree or to put on your tree that you can give away this was pretty you know I used to make every time I got into a cool idea like this I'd make enough of them that I get I tied them on Christmas gifts and so everybody got a different ornament handmade ornament every year this was one year another year it was little wreaths with beads and buttons all the way around and every year it was something different one year it was these and I see these are coming back this year ain't nothing new under the sun these are from 1996 97 and 98 I think that I did these but they're doing them a little different this year in that they're pouring acrylic pouring over the bulbs I did the pouring inside the bulbs and I just manipulated you buy clear glass bulbs these pop off you pour your pretty colors in these are pearlescent purple and green and blue and burgundy you know still stuck in the 80s 90s that that hunter green mauve and navy color scheme then you just manipulate the paint around and then pour the let them drip out and this one I took a gold pen and just outlined the colors for something different because the first year this was 97 the first year I did it in 96 I just poured the colors in I didn't I didn't do anything on the outside and I don't know if it's coming on camera or not but it's a dark dark green and a pearlescent reddish burgundy This one, I love this one. I didn't, oh, this is 96 too. So I just spattered it around. I must have shaken it to get it to spatter around like that. Or maybe I got a brush in there and spattered it around. It's been a while, so I don't recall. But then I put, while the paint was still wet, I put that opalescent fairy dust in there. It's super fine, clear opalescent glitter. And it just glistens like snow. I love this ornament. Took no time whatsoever to do. I don't think I dated this one. Oh, I did. This one's from 1998. So this one I filled with potpourri. Or maybe I bought bulbs filled with potpourri. I don't remember. But then I just took acrylic craft paint and painted little snow scenes, little Christmas trees. and I was big, big, big into snowmen, and so I have driftwood that, are, that I did ornaments one year. I went down to the beach in the summer and I got all kinds of shapes and sizes of driftwood, and then all summer I painted snowmen on them. At that salon that I was just talking about where we had the back bar, every year we'd have a craft show in the salon because we were all doing crafty things like this. And so at the beginning of December, We'd set up tables in the waiting room and we all had a craft sale so our customers could come get their hair done and leave with some really cool Christmas ornaments or Christmas gifts. Super easy. I wouldn't do the potpourri now because again, I think that just screams 80s and 90s because that's when it was done. You know, you could fill it with ribbon, you could fill it with glitter, you could fill it with shaker stuff, you know, sequins and whatnot. I would do that in a heartbeat or not anything just or put glue inside while it's while it's wet put that opalescent glitter in there and then paint your winter scene on the outside just love them and I think that's all that I have right now for, for flip through Friday this this wonderful collection of memories thank you for sharing that with me and, and uh, some crafty memories maybe some again ain't nothing new under the sun this isn't anything new this is very old but it can be new again with you know updated fabric go through the kids and grandkids old clothes and find some some things you could cut out make ornaments or put into christmas books or make a fabric collage with the favorite goodies lots of lots of fun crafty ideas make some christmas ornaments 
get back to the homemade Christmas idea. I'm going to leave you with that. That's all I have for you today. Make sure to go love up your beastlies. We're having some serious arctic blasts here. So I got to make sure to get Bitsy in as soon as possible so her little feet don't get burnt from the super cold of the outside. She appreciates that <laughs> coming in fast. You have a lovely crafty day. My ticket at the lake. Out for now.